hello everyone uh, welcome to this lecture in this lecture we will be uh, discussing spreadsheet read and write operations using perl so i will be talking about basics and modules to use over here to begin with then we will explore few spreadsheet write and spreadsheet uh, read functions and then at the end uh, we will be uh, discussing various formatting options in the next lecture okay uh, so to begin with uh, let's jump to a piece of code over here so uh, basically uh, the best way to learn this spreadsheet uh, module i feel is uh, via coding so if you see i will be going over these uh, details one by one uh, this is a basic part of the code and this is a code to demonstrate different excel read and write functions we have already seen what this means use strict we have already seen the uh, function of get opt long now for uh, working in terms of spreadsheet excels right excel spreadsheets what we need to do is uh, we need to use uh, two inbuilt perl modules so we have a inbuilt uh, spreadsheet a write excel perl module and then we have a parse excel perl module right excel perl module is used for writing into excel sheet parse excel perl module is used for reading the excel sheets so basically what happens is if you, you go into your area where perl is installed what you can do is if you search for this spreadsheet right you can simply see work excel.pm file and parse excel.pm file as well right so basically what we will be doing is we will be using these two modules and their inbuilt functions to uh, write into excel files and then read it from the excel files as well right so basically uh, this is a basic uh, instruction where i say that okay my output excel is i am uh, scaling i am storing path uh, to an excel sheet which i want to generate say uh, generated excel s file right i am creating a file name generated excel s file dot excel s at this path and i am storing uh, the path in a scalar called output excel s right uh, we can uh, remove this uh, this is not required so this is and then what we do is uh, we use uh, different functions which are present in this spreadsheet write excel module so basically what we do first of all is uh, we call this module and then we use a new function present in this module where we say okay generate a new workbook with this name generate xls file or if it is not able to create this we will uh, call this uh, die function right once this command executes and if it executes successfully uh, this file will be created at the location specified over here now as many of you would know right a workbook is nothing but a collection of multiple worksheets it's just like a database being a collection of different tables right so basically what happens over here is once we create a workbook we can create different worksheets okay uh, so basically sheet 1 sheet 2 is the default name uh, let's say oh, example sheet 1 let's make it example sheet 2 so basically what happens over here is we are inside a workbook right we have already created a workbook this one and inside a workbook we are adding a worksheet using a add, add worksheet function and we name first sheet as example sheet 1 and the second sheet we name as example sheet 2 right now what happened is we created a workbook we created two worksheets and now we will be writing into a sheet so let's open sheet 1 we use a write function it's a in all if you remember if you see over here spreadsheet write excel is a inbuilt perl module i am using a 5.26.2 if you remember in case you are using a older version of perl uh, there might be a case where a um, few of these constructs are not supported because uh, they might be uh, a newly added ones and uh, older versions may might not be supporting those constructs for example in general like add worksheet is a older construct uh, 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 recently in the latest worksheet add underscore worksheet is also supported right so uh, basically keep in mind that i'm using perl 5.26.2 and what we did over here is we use this write excel perl module we created a workbook then we after, after creating a workbook we added worksheets now inside various sheets we are doing write so in the sheet one i am writing row zero column zero i am writing a value zero row zero column one i am writing one row row one column zero writing two row one column one i am writing three similarly let's add few writes for sheet 2 also so let's say i am writing into sheet 2 okay so sheet 2 say sheet 2 say sheet 2 and say i am writing at a location say 10 10 11 11 
then what happens is after we have done all these write operations uh, like we close a file right uh, we need to close a workbook also and we what we do is we will uh, say workbook close function and then for the time being we will comment this code below because this is for the read function okay so what we did over here is we used uh, two inbuilt Perl modules we created a we called the new function to create a workbook then from a workbook we created worksheet using add worksheet and then we use the write function to write into different locations of two worksheets right and then we closed it so our output will be stored in output location generated xls file if you see as of now this file is not at all present over here what we will do is let's run this code we cleared the screen and then we execute this code for excel operations.pl the code is running code got over we go to output file we have generated xls file over here we open it and we go to file we open we open from so this file is getting opened so generated xls file if you see over here what had happened is it has created example sheet one example sheet two the names which we gave uh, zero row zero column zero zero row first column one first row zero column two three similarly 11 and 12 so basically this is zeroth so this is tenth this is eleventh row right so this is how we write into an xls sheet correct so i hope you are comfortable with this piece of code as of today right now uh, let's look into a write function utility also over here if you see uh, so basically we have already seen uh, sorry we have already seen a write operation um, i hope you are comfortable with this write operation now let's do a read operation and before we do a read operation i just want to tell you one thing that we cannot read from the xls and write into the same xls at the same point of time so we can do read and write operation simultaneously on the different xls's but we cannot do a read and write operation in the same xls at one time we read at a single time and then we write at a sing single uh, single time so basically we we wrote into xls sheet we closed it now basically we are reading an xls sheet so basically what we did over here is i said read book uh, output xls so i'm reading the same xls into this scalar variable and then i print processing read book now what i'm using is uh, now i am using a parse excel util module and what i'm saying is uh, my excel one new right i am uh, creating this uh, hand, new handle inside this excel1 scalar and then i am calling this parse function inside this perl module and uh, reading this creating a handle for this as excel now basically read book uh, handle is created in this excel variable and now what i do is for each of the sheet right for each my sheet at the rate excel worksheet so basically my read book is uh, file handle is this one excel what i do is uh, this is an array for each of the worksheet what I do is I fetch out a row minimum value uh, using a uh, min row and row maximum value using max row function right then what I do is uh, I don't do much over here uh, what I can do over here is instead let's print something let's print what is present in um, okay it's to keep it simple right for the beginning let's uh, for, for the for each my sheet right let's uh, uh, print what is present in uh, she, uh, column one one and for the time being right and just to keep it simple let's write it to uh, zero zero one one location over here as well and what we are doing over here is we are uh, getting a value of minimum and maximum rows and we are creating a row handle where we say okay from the sheet whatever we have got over here go to cell 1 1 so basically 1 1 should have value 3 in uh, 3 in both of them and get that value and print that value right what we will do is we will add a since we have two sheets we will add a new line character and we will execute this 
so basically it created an error and if you see this error is it can't open this uh, file because it is in user protected because we have opened it over here so basically what we do is we close this file and then rerun this code processing it printed processing this file and it printed 3 and 3 right now let's see one more example uh, in the second file let's write it we uh, reverted back to the previous code and now let's see what it prints it didn't print anything over here because uh, that particular column was blank so basically uh, what we, do, we can do is uh, what we can do is we since it was a blank column it didn't print anything it got a blank value so what we can do is if we can add this print only if dollar raw well is not equal to empty then we print it now let's see what it prints control s see if you see over here uh, there's one extra one less new line character because we removed the last print correct so uh, this is all about uh, spreadsheet excel spreadsheet uh, write and read functions in the next lecture uh, we will be talking about a few of the formattings which are available while we try to write into an excel sheet uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, lecture and uh, uh, i would suggest one thing that uh, get a pearl setup and try writing a piece of code yourself eventually uh, this particular utility of spreadsheet write excel and parse excel are very powerful because when we are working in industry we will uh, definitely see some example where we have to quickly do some automation or write some scripts where uh, data is available in excel sheet we read those and get some meaningful data and project it or a case may come where we are having some results we have like test regression results we want to populate them we quickly run a script get the data and populate in xls for easy readability thank you